Hi, and welcome to YT Knowledge Tree Spy Edition. Now, this particular edition of our YT Knowledge Tree software is a real in depth analyzer of YouTube. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it and what you can use it for. So, I'm going to pick a keyword. And in this case, I'm going to use green tea weight loss. I'm just going to pop that in the keyword section up here and paste that in. And now I can find up to a hundred results. Now I only normally use 10 most of the time I have to say, but you can use 10, 20, 30, 40 or hundred. But for this demonstration, I'm going to put in a hundred results. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to search YouTube for green tea weight loss. And we're going to find the top 100 videos that come back for that search expression. So I'm going to click that button now and you'll see, bang, there it is in a couple of seconds. You've literally pulled in a mass of data for this particular uh, keyword. And if I scroll down, you should be able to see that we've got the top 100 videos that return for this green tea weight loss search. And you can see we've got a huge amount of information in here. So the first thing we've got is the title. So if I can just, I can drag these across and we can, we can read more of what's going on here so we can see exactly how these videos are titled. So that gives us an idea of the title that we need to be put on if you want to be competing with this in this particular uh, field. If you're looking for green tea weight loss, if you want to be in this field, then obviously the titles are very, very important. And you can see up here, green tea weight loss, green tea equals weight loss. You can see weight loss here, green tea weight loss. So obviously that keyword is, is existing in these top 10 at least, uh, and maybe even further down keywords, uh, titles, sorry, so you can see exactly what's going on. We've also got a link directly to the URL of the video. So you can click that and just see the video. And it's got the page rank of the video. This is the Google page rank. So interestingly, you'll see the top one actually got a page rank of zero. So all, some of these are four and five. There are quite a few page rank zeros in here. So page rank itself is not necessarily a direct indicator of ranking, but for your particular keyword, who knows? It depends. So we're looking at this one. As I say, the top page rank on this one is actually zero. So clearly, uh, there's more to ranking a YouTube video than just the page rank. We've got the ratings, uh, and you can see the number of likes and dislikes as well. And of course, it has the description. So from a keyword perspective, like an on-site SEO, if you like, uh, for video, then the description is probably second only in importance to the title. So you would expect to find, and I can see in this number two video here, like green tea weight loss straight up front as a keyword. So obviously, this is uh, well keyword SEO'd in this description. And so you can compare all the descriptions to see what you ought to be having in your description to be able to compete with these particular videos. Now, the next bit of information is, a, is called the description link. This actually means, is there a link in the description? Now, one of the things that you can use this software for, and many people do, this is a particular method of getting traffic from YouTube, is actually getting it or buying it from other people. So where you've got some high view videos, like this one right at the top, for instance, it's got 303,000 views, and it's got no link description. So let's just go and have a look at the video itself. And I'll just turn the video off rather than just watch the video for the moment. So it's an ad on there. It's an ad on there at the moment. Uh, but let's just go down and look at the description. And in here you'll see it says published on 20th of December 2013. Please do read the description box for more. So it has no actual URL in here. You'll see that most of YouTube videos have a URL in here because they want you to look at the video and actually click on the URL and go somewhere because they're trying to sell you something or get you to sign up for something or whatever it is. So what you can do with these is you can actually contact and approach these people and see if you can come to some kind of arrangement to either pay for them or share revenue with them uh, by putting links onto their high viewing videos. And you'll notice when I opened it up, it says here, click return to YT Knowledge Tree Spy Edition. You'll see it actually opened up right inside the program for us whenever we look at anything. So moving on then, so uh, we said the number of views, so we can see the number of views that each of these videos have had, something very important, obviously. If they're high view videos, then obviously that's working well for them and that's an area you want to be into. 
sort of the amount of comments and it will give you the date published as well because obviously the amount of views compared with the date published tells you how fast these videos are actually getting views. If it's been up for five years, it's obviously different than if it's been up for five months for the same amount of views. Interestingly enough, we can also find the tags. Now these are something that YouTube have actually removed from the main page now, so you can't see those without actually looking at your page content. And the tags are very important. So although they're not uh, used for ranking the video specifically, well, they're used for finding related videos. So when you watch a YouTube video and it comes to the end and you, get, you see a bunch of related videos come up, that's because they match up the tags. So they're looking in this particular case, it's a short exercise, workout, energy, nutrition, body, mind, soul, fitness. So if they can find other videos with the same tags in, then those videos are likely to be related to the video you've just seen and you're likely to want to watch them. So Google will put them up or YouTube will put them up as related videos. So it's very important to see what tags are up here because by using the same tags as these, you can get these videos to come up as related to your video and vice versa, maybe your videos will come up as related videos to theirs. And remember, if they're high view videos, your video might come up more often as a related video than it actually does in the searches. So this is another technique that's used a lot by YouTube marketers. Okay, we can also find the category. Again, this is useful because YouTube allows you to put your video into a number of categories, and it's worth seeing what category that the other successful videos are in uh, to make sure that you're putting yours into the right category as well. We also have the user itself. So this is the channel name or the username. It's one of the same thing. So in this particular case, uh, this is the highest video here or the top video here, the number one video, I should say, is somebody called uh, Joanna's O Official. Uh, so that's the name of the user. And if you wanted to contact this particular user, uh, perhaps to propose a offer to put a link onto her video, then you can click the contact button or the contact link and it'll open up the contact page. Now, if they've enabled messaging, then that will be available to you here. And if they've enabled uh, email, of course, you'll be able to view their email as well. So you'll be able to simply click on these buttons and send your message as required. Again, it opens up within the program, so you can close that off and you're straight back inside the program. Finally, there's comments. Commenting on high view videos is a marketing method used by some video marketers. And of course, what they do is they find a high view video and they can comment on it. And this link takes you straight there. You can simply click into the comments box here and there you can put your comment in. And some people even put links in there. Again, it opens up inside the program. So you can just close that down and go straight back in. Just before I wind up this video, I'll just show you a couple of uh, cool bits. If you can, you can sort and play with these and filter these things out as much as you want. So if I go to the views, for instance, I can just click on it and it will give me highest to lowest or lowest to highest views. We'll sort that automatically. If I want to, for instance, only want to see a certain amount of views, I can use the filter up here. I can select in this case, uh, let's go to views, as we're sticking on that one. And I only want to see views that are greater than say 50,000. And now I'll only see those that have got 50,000 views or more because I might only want to work with these high view videos. I can sort on any of these columns and or uh, uh, filter on any of these columns, dates for instance, so I can find out ones that are only very most recent videos. Okay, I can remove those filters. I'll show you there one other way. Again, perhaps we'll try another filter. For instance, let's have a look at the description link. So if I view, if I, sorry, filter on the description link and make that equal to no, then what I will get will all the videos that don't have a link in there already, which means this is, this is an opportunity. If I can now sort these high to low, I can find all the highest viewed videos that have no links in and these are people I might approach to try and get links into their videos back to my sales pages or to my promotions. Okay, those of you who purchase the pro edition or the commercial edition uh, will also get some extra functionality 
we will get here the YouTube channel or the user. So you just need to put a username or a channel name into here and you'll find all the videos for that particular person. So if I just pop in a username, it's the one that was the number one video in the, in the previous section. So I just look back here and look at the highest views. We'll see it was this uh, Joanna, Joanna's O or Joanna's So official. So if I put that into here and search, I will get the same results, but this time I'll get just her videos. So these are all her videos. I'll be able to see all the videos she's done. And if I just pull down here, she says something around about 125 videos. So this is obviously quite a substantial channel. Somebody knocks a lot of videos out and gets some quite serious views on them as well. So it's doing really well. So somebody worth following and taking obviously whatever these are doing, uh, they're doing it right. So this is the kind of stuff you need to be doing as well. Uh, there's also a rank tracker on here. And basically you can just check the standard search engines. So if I put a keyword in, for instance, green tea, and I put my video URL in, if I had a video created, or anybody else's video for that matter, I could put their video URL in and search, and it will just go and check YouTube and Google and Yahoo to find out uh, if it's ranking. In this particular case, it's not ranking anywhere. And one of the functions you'll find on all these pages is that you can export all your results to CSV so you can then import them to a spreadsheet and play with them to your heart's content. Okay, so I hope you can see now that uh, YT Knowledge Tree Spy Edition really gives you some useful information, lots of it. You can look up to the top 100 videos. Uh, you know, there pretty much isn't anything you can't do once you've got this information. So if you haven't got a copy of YT Knowledge Tree Spy Edition, I suggest you find a buy button and grab it now.